is Nice Matthew and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do ear pin earrings. Uh, a lot of people are wearing these and I think that they're going to be um, something you'll see a lot in the summer um, in the next couple of months so I thought I'd just show you some and I made a set right here with uh, rose quartz. Um, now there's two ways to do it. You can use just a pre-made head pin that has a round head or a flat head, which I will show you one technique and then I'll show you the second technique. And if you have just a plain head pin like that, it's very simple. You just string your beads on and I think usually between a, what, a 20 and an 18 gauge, actually you could go to, uh, right up to a 22 will work and um, you know as long as it fits your beads. So I'm just stringing some little seed pearls on right now. So I have what I want. I'll just make one of these earrings just so you can see. So I'm going to string it right up until the point where it's about there's a three quarter of an inch left, and which is about there. Actually, maybe I can do one more. So one more, and that will leave me with three quarter of an inch of um, wire right here. When I get to that point. I just bend it down, and you can use your pliers for that if you like. If you want to use your chain nose pliers, you can just bend it down. And that's going to keep my, my um, beads in place. And if you notice the way that these are drilled, they sort of go sideways. Okay, now that that's done, I'm pretty much almost done. I just want to do a little tail. I would file the end as well, and that's my earring. And then you're just going to put that in your ear, and you can hang it dangling down, or the way people like to wear it is sort of like that. Okay, so that's that's pretty much your earring done. Another way to do it is to have just plain wire instead of a head pin. So what you want to do is you want to wire harden it a bit. So I'm just running my my um, wire straightening pliers over it a few times and that will make it stiff because you want something stiff to stay in your ear properly and also to hold its shape when you have it in your ear. Okay, so if your head pins aren't half hard, then you wanna, you'll want to do that with your head pins as well. So now it's pretty stiff. And um, so what I do now is just a little curl on the end and that's just going to be to start it off and you can make it any size you want um, really it's up to you and uh, it's a place where it will be where your beads won't fall off as well I just string on one silver bead and again this is whatever way you want to do it it doesn't really make a difference um, it's your creativity that is the boss in this uh, in this project. Okay, so so far I have that, and then I'm gonna put another bead on. I have some sort of a spring green, and then another silver bead. silver bead and at this point you can have a look at it see if it looks the way you want it to and um, because they're sort of side drilled uh, I'm just positioning like that and then that way the beads will sort of lay a little bit better and now that I have them all on all I do is exactly the same way as I did last time go right to the top bend right down Okay, and then I have a little extra wire here, and I'm going to trim that back to about three quarter inch, and just bend up the end a little bit, and then these are ready to wear, whichever way you like. And after you, you know, you've made them, you can adjust them accordingly, like, you know, push the beads together, adjust the wire, whatever way you look, but ultimately, um, you have a really cute pair of earrings. And uh, that concludes the tutorial. Thanks for coming. I hope you liked the uh, video. Um, sorry for my voice. I have a bit of cold this week, so uh, I hope to sound a little bit better next week. And uh, if you like, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.